Hi, welcome to the ninth episode of your Unity Game Development for Complete Beginner series. In the previous episode, we learned how to move a cube in Unity using the arrow keys. In this episode, we will learn how to make a cube jump in Unity. In the following scene, let's make a plane, add a color to it. Now make a cube, add another color to it. Now make a cube and scale it along X, Y and Z axis to change it to your desired shape. Add another color to it. Now select this modified object and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it and change its position. Rename your cube to player. Select your player and in the inspector click on add component and add a rigid body to your player. Now create and add a C sharp script to your player. Open the C sharp script in the Visual Studio. We are going to use the same code that we used in our last video to move the cube. If you haven't watched the last video, pause for a second and write down the following code. We will add and assign a rigid body variable component. Public rigid body RB. We are taking it public so we can access it from our inspector. In the start method type RB is equal to get component rigid body. Here we are referring to the rigid body that is attached to the scheme object and at the end of the update we are going to say Whenever the space key is pressed for that, this code will be written. If input dot get button down jump whenever space key is pressed, add force to the rigid body. RB dot add force new Factor 3, 0, 5, 0, force mode dot impulse. Now save this by pressing Ctrl plus S. Go back to Unity. Wait for it to save. In the inspector, go to rigid body constraints and freeze rotation on Z and X. Now, if we play our game and press the space key, our cube will jump. If we press arrow keys along with space, it will jump in a direction. Play your game, press space. You can see it's jumping. The more you press space, the, the higher it goes. So this was a very easy way of making a cube jump in Unity. That was all for this episode. In the next episode, we will learn about different types of colliders in Unity. If you have any question, feel free to ask me in the comments below. If you like this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.